All right, turning things back over to Chief Meteorologist Mark Nelson. You have some good news for us for the rest of our weekend. I think in the metro area southward from here south and from here east, I think we've got a dry rest of the weekend's going to be dry. Awesome. And it gets warmer the next few days. Look at the people, these people, uh, we've seen a few people down here by the fire having a, a discussion. What do you think they're talking about? The or weather. None of my business. It's the weather. I'm sure they're talking about the weather, how fantastic it's Absolutely. going to be. Absolutely. Maybe they've got maybe they've got the app and they're watching right now. I don't know. <laughs> uh, remember we have that on the app. You can stream the newscast on the app. Mary Hill Chase Ruin Bistro Camera, that's on the uh, north shore of the Columbia River there, fifty six degrees. And then Shriner's Hospital Camera, uh, children's hospital up there on the hill. And uh, yeah, busy night on the freeways, I'm sure, with a lot of people out and about the uh, funds or the um we used to be called Fun Center City Fair. Just close at 10 p.m. down there at Rose Festival. It's going to be open noon to, I think, 9 p.m. tomorrow night. All right, so that's Discover Newport Cam. A little cooler there. In fact, uh, that was my forecast, low temperature, so clearly it's going to dip down around 40 there at Newport. But most of us dropped in, into the 40s west of the Cascades tonight. Uh, maybe a touch of frost, some of the high desert locations. That is not unusual at the end of May and into early June. All right, lawn mowing forecast. I'm going to get mine done. Uh, dry grass and dry grass the next two days. Tuesday, at some point in the latter part of the day, I think it'll turn wet. So what's ahead? What do we see? Well, tomorrow should be dry for most of us, uh, sunnier and warmer. Now, it's an important point here. From the middle of the metro area northward and from the middle of the metro area westward, it may stay gray a good chunk of the day. But you go south of the metro towards Salem, east of the metro, even into the gorge, is quite a bit sunnier. And there'll be some showers maybe up around Astoria, the far north coast, as far south as Long View, Long I-5, if you're driving up to Seattle tomorrow, you will run into showers up there. Memorial Day itself, more of a day of the week. I don't expect showers anywhere in our viewing area, just partly cloudy. And then at some point later Tuesday, we turn showery, and those showers will linger at least through Wednesday, maybe Thursday of next week. We'll see. This is weather system here. Actually, this one's got quite a bit of moisture with it. It's going to run right into British Columbia tonight, and then it'll kind of linger right down over northwest, far northwest Oregon and western Washington all day long tomorrow. In fact, here's a, here's a cloud forecast. Look at 7 a.m. You can just draw a line almost from about Newport to Wilsonville and then up into the South Washington Cascade south of there. It's pretty sunny tomorrow morning. In the afternoon, that line is still kind of there. I'd call it partly cloudy here in the metro. All cloudy to the north. I don't think you'll see any sun tomorrow at Astoria. But I think down at Florence, you'll probably see lots of sunshine. And the same thing down in the valley and to the east. Monday, yeah, just kind of partly cloudy, some thin high clouds. And then the next chance for rain, it's not Tuesday morning. But it's later in the day Tuesday. Look how this weather system is approaching at 3 p.m. We're starting to see some showers. So your Portland forecast. Uh, we're going yeah, partly cloudy to mainly sunny in the afternoon. It could be this way south metro and east metro, but pretty, pretty cloudy out towards Banks and Forest Grove and also up into Clark County. So there could be a range of sunshine, uh, cloud cover, I should say, throughout the metro area. Areas to the south and east are going to be warmer. We're going to average about 70 here in the city. That uh, will be nice. And then I think maybe mid-70s with plenty of sunshine Monday. Tuesday, we turn wet at some point in the afternoon. I think everybody then gets scattered showers west of the Cascades Tuesday afternoon. A few showers still Wednesday. Could there be a shower Thursday? Possibly. Then we think we turn warmer for a day or two in here. And uh, Amel, we have the Starlight Parade. Of course, it's the first of the three parades we have on the air here. Starts at uh, 9 p.m. on air. And we think it may still be dry next Saturday, which would be nice. I know it's a week out, but that's what we're seeing so far. All right, Mark. Thank you all. Sounds good.